So now we're going to hear some of the younger people's perspective. So Andres, if you could just kind of tell us about your experience with lowering the living age in your town, that would be great. Yeah, of course. So this past March, uh, the town of Chevy Chase officially lowered the voting age to 16. Uh, that includes myself and many other teens were allowed to vote in this past uh, town council election. Uh, some other things that got passed with the charter amendment is that 16 year olds are also eligible to run in the town of Chevy Chase. Uh, and along with that, non-citizen 16 year olds are allowed to vote in the town of Chevy Chase. But for my experience, it was a process where a lot of people brought arguments up of saying, you know, why you? Why does a 16 year old uh, have the ideas to push this forward? And I think the best kind of way to put it is in 10th grade, we all learn about the US Constitution, we learn about everything in the backbone of democracy. So why not apply it? Why not apply it to a firsthand, pretty simple way to really see democracy in action? So it's very popular in other countries, including Austria, Argentina, Belgium, Malta, Ecuador, Brazil, Scotland, and Wales. All of those countries have 16 year old voting ages. And there's efforts in Canada and Germany to pass it as well. But I think the main thing to look at is teens want to get involved. There's a town teen uh, committee here in Chevy Chase that is very active in creating different drives, whether that be for clothing or food. And people want to listen to what they have to say because th it's the future. And if the future is kind of disagreeing with what's going on now, why not try to kind of create that bond? So that's my experience with Owing the Voting Age. Great, thank you. And how did it feel to vote for the first time? It felt great. It felt great to finally have a say in what's going on around me. And especially with uh, local traffic laws at that point was a huge kind of uh, uh, debate point. And it was great as a driver to be able to have a say in that. And then to be, before you voted, did you do anything to prepare? Can you tell us what you did? Yeah, I, I knew, kind of who was running just due to the fact that I was so involved with a lot of the town council members uh, already going into the process. So I just kind of looked at who was arguing for what and what I kind of agreed with going forward and I made my decisions.